radio first started in about 1922, it was certainly no threat to the gramophone. In fact, they helped each other. By the mid-twenties, they bought out the electric pickup. And this could be adapted to your wind-up gramophone. You could then feed your gramophone records through your radio. By 1928, some bright sparks said, why not bung them all in one box? And the radiogram was born. It was tidy, it was neat. People didn't want wires all over the place. They wanted that nice, round, mellow, pre-war, non-transistorised, round valve sound that we got. It had a limited frequency response, but then so has our ears. We didn't want terrific volume. We wanted to listen comfortably at half a watt's output. The radiogram was listened to. It wasn't just heard in the background. It was a centre part of a room. It stood next to the fireplace. We arced our armchairs and sofas round it, and we sat down and gave it all our attention. In the 1930s, the gramophone had become a very affordable possession, and every home in the country basically that wanted one probably had one. This had several effects. One was that a plethora of small manufacturers made an astounding array of gramophone toys and accessories and novelties, things basically bolt on goodies for the gramophone.
Every single little dream Every single little dream Is a shingle or a rafter We can paint the house with laughter When we build a little hall It's not a palace Say the ugly sisters were teasing cinders about the lovely ball they'd been to when the prince's heralds arrived with a glass slipper. It would not fit either of the sisters. Then cinders tried it and it fitted beautifully. The prince led her away and they were married and lived happily ever afterwards. <laughs> Time for teddy bears The little teddy bears Are having a lovely time today Watch them, catch them unawares And see them picnic on the holiday I'm looking on the right side On the road we will stay Sticking up and kissing Hoping for the best Looking on the right side By the 1930s, the invention of the picture disc was seized upon by advertisers to send messages into the home. Attractive giveaway discs which actually played catchy tunes to advertise their products. We cater, there's no value greater than our standard, the standard of return. There's no car completer, safer, swifter, neater than our standard, the standard of return. What could be more welcome in the world of thrift? What could be more ideal for the slow or swift? No king could charter any car that's smarter than our standard car of return. Right away! We're off to Reading, hooray, hooray, and Huntley and Palmer to spend the day. We're longing to reach this wonderful town to taste their biscuits so crisp and brown. We're going to spend a holiday. We've worked and saved all you. We put our worries on the shelf. We haven't got a care. We caught a train and early one to Butlins by the sea. And now we're here at Butlins. That's the place for you and me. While we're at Butlins, jolly old Butlins. That's a holiday that's well worth waiting for. Ta -ra -ra. B U T L I N S. And we know that we'll be back again for more. During the Second World War, it was said, and I think with a certain amount of brightness too, that anything with grooves would sell. Oh, Mr. Wu is now an air raid warden, and don't he look cute in this new siren suit? He goes round every night to make the blackout sure. So if you've got a chink in your window, hey, you'll have another one at your door. A firebomb dropped one day, so close to him they say that he deserves a medal, they all vow. But perhaps what you don't understand, he put the fire out, but he didn't use sand, cause Mr. Wu's an air raid warden now. Of course, it really was a time for personalities, more than the First World War had been. In the First World War, you've got the songs. In the Second World War, you've got not only the nostalgic songs, but the personalities to sing them. A car full of high-powered talent for the troops serving in France. Gracie Fields making her first appearance since returning from America, followed by Jack Hilton, Arthur Askey borrowing protection from the rain, and helping him, his playmate, Stinker Murder. And, of course, the, the Cheer Up songs were provided by the famous comedians, particularly George Formby, Jr. Now I'm getting very fond of me gas mask, I declare. It hardly ever leaves my sight. I sling it on me back and I take it everywhere. It even comes to bed at night. It's been a real good pal to me, I must confess. At a dance hall in Streatham, they grab their partners for the preliminary race. And it's on with the gas mask and the dance. The 
off-duty periods would be filled in by listening to records. And that's when we get Vera Lynn and the Sweetheart of the Forces name. We'll meet again Don't know where Don't know where But I know we'll meet again Some sunny day Records, oh, boy. Yes. Pick up these records. They're worn out and just fit for scrap. Well, ain't you Lord Stanley all the way? Well, I am Stanley all the way. Oh, perhaps I'd accounts for it. <laughs> <laughs> On to the old barrow they go, while Lupino mm. Lane goes <laughs> hunting from house to house down Lambeth Way. <laughs> What are you doing with it? Wearing it out. Can I have it? Yes. Thanks. And here's what he wants it for. To add to the millions of worn and unwanted gramophone records which are needed for the recovery of shellac, an essential commodity in the manufacture of records. The broken pieces are pulverized and the dust fed onto heated rollers which produce the plastic base for new discs. The sheets of basic material ultimately emerge as new records, factories, hospitals and our men in enemy prison camps will profit by the response to this appeal. During the Blitz, of course, there was usually a gramophone in the shelters to keep morale up. What they wanted was Glenn Miller and sweet music and uh, nostalgia. This is a new idea of the forces. Great, isn't it? Are you pleased to hear my voice? Better than a letter, isn't it? Hello, Mum and Dad. This is a new idea of the forces. Great, isn't it? Are you pleased to hear my voice? Better than a letter, isn't it? Come and please your teeth in the dark. 